In today's video, I'm gonna break down how you can come up with phenomenal short form content ideas, and then how you can rapidly iterate on them to figure out what's really gonna work for you. Now, the number one thing that I always talk about when it comes to short form content is getting really clear on your intention for creating content to begin with. You wanna know why you're making it. Are you making it for profitability? Are you making it for reps and just getting practice at being on camera? Or do you are you not on camera? Are you just making cinematic videos? Uh, my girlfriend makes phenomenal cinematic videos and sometimes she gets a million views on these like random videos about her life with nice music and little words on it, right? So you've got to get really clear on the intention that you have for creating content. So that being said, I currently run all of the content organization for Rapid Transformational Therapy and Marissa Peer. And we had over a 20,000% increase on average engagement on the Instagram account. And I wanna talk you through kind of how I thought about that because it's not so much about the tactics because tactics change all the time, algorithms change all the time. It's really about the way you're thinking about iterating on content. So the number one thing, aside from the North Star, it's picking how to be fun, easy, sustainable, and profitable. No matter what content you're creating, and no matter how much money you're making from the content, you've gotta have these four things. So if it's profitable, but it's a slog and it's really challenging to do and it's not sustainable, it won't really matter how much profit you're doing. So you've gotta have all of these components, fun, easy, sustainable, and profitable. I originally built the fun, easy idea listening to Tim Ferriss saying that anything should be fun and easy, and I said, why not? Because the quality of your questions determines the quality of the output or the quality of your life. And so when I ask myself, how could I make things fun and easy? You start to get really interesting answers. When I add sustainable and profitable to that, you start to create a really beautiful life for yourself, which is something I talk about all the time. So I looked at her content and realized that the collaboration posts where I was in her content, and those posts explode loaded and did super, super well, even though I had very few followers at the time, maybe 4,000, right? And uh, a lot of them weren't really consistent followers. I wasn't posting on a regular basis. And all of her followers at that time, maybe 400,000 or so, weren't engaged at all. But as soon as they were fed high quality value driven content, which is the next thing, making sure that you are helping people right now. So when I say value driven, I mean, I'm gonna give you a tactic like right now where I'm telling you how to iterate and how to think about short form content to make it successful, that's real value. And the way you do that is you figure out, okay, what's your North Star? Get really clear on your intention. I worked with um, someone incredible early, earlier this year, uh, Ajit Nawalka from Evercoach, who's the CEO at Evercoach, which is a company by Mind Valley. And he said he wanted to get better on camera skills. That's very different. With Marissa, it was how do we promote our programs and create a better world by training more therapists? So I said, okay, so basically profitability and sustainability would be the goal for her, and on camera skills would be the goal for Ajit, which I have a separate video about that you can check out somewhere around here. Those are very different intentions. So how do we make those fun, easy, sustainable, and profitable between the two, right? And so I looked at when I got her really good content, they would blow up. So my theory was if we started to create better content than stuff like this, which is like a photo of random people selling her retreats, right? Um, maybe it would blow up. And so I went out and filmed about 50 pieces of short form content with her. And it's a super clear demarcation when this started happening because the very first one that I posted got 179,000 views and just under 10,000 engagements, which I count that as likes, comments, and saves together because for some reason we don't get the share metrics on her account. And so when I saw that, I immediately went, oh, this is about to get really serious. What happens when you start adding massive value to people in short form content? And so that was the first one. The second one didn't do as well, about half as many. The third one did about a similar amount. The fourth one jumped to 811,000 views and 65,000 engagements. So I knew we were onto something there. And so here's what I did. I started to look at the content and I, created a bucket of what are the things that she's really interested in that would be fun and easy for her to talk about. That was wealth, that was love for others and love for yourself. That was actually, she has a great time talking about relationships and like sex and she can be really like uh, mischievous and she makes these like funny faces, right? So I knew that would be a topic. And 
money. So I started testing different types of topics in these areas. So one was affirmations, just like giving people positive reinforcement in 15, 30 seconds, 60 seconds for short form, right? And as I tested that, I started to notice when she only said the positive things, people loved it. And that was the clip that originally got those 800,000 views. And so when I filmed with her again, I started doing more of those affirmation piece contents. And I started putting random backgrounds on her words from these high quality affirmation tracks that we did. And those started to do really well as well well. So it wasn't just her talking about it, it was this in general. And so I started experimenting with a lot of different ways to deliver these affirmation, these reinforcement audio and video components on short form content. And then we started doubling down on that. So what I started to build was an, a sort of a library of content that we could reproduce in different formats. So sometimes it was money affirmations, then it was self love affirmations, then it was attracting love affirmations, then it was wealth building affirmations, then it was money mindset affirmations. Um, and then it became career and purpose affirmations and it became believing in yourself and confidence affirmations and all of these forgiveness affirmations, right? And we've been testing these and iterating on them repeatedly and then saying what works the best, let's recreate but make it better. And 80% of the content that we produce is that formula. What has worked in the past? Reproducing it, consistently improving it. Whether that's actually using the same clip but trying different editing styles with it, doing different music, maybe different subtitles or recreating that clip but making it better the way that she says it is a little bit different the scenery is a little bit different the camera quality the audio quality is a little bit better right or taking her off of it and just using the audio and doing different backgrounds or b-roll instead of her talking and so we're still experimenting with that all the time and so about 20 percent of the content is innovation and new styles and just testing what's going to work and what's not going to work as well and the 80 percent of it is literally just iterating again and again and again on the same things but going deeper into those particular topic. So if someone really likes money affirmations, then maybe they're really going to like a money vortex where really help them feel all of their negative feelings around money, get rid of it, and then improve the feelings they have around money and really sort of swapping out their emotions with the ideal emotions that they want to have around money. And then maybe they'd want to hear about Marissa's own journey or someone's journey around improving their money beliefs and thereby also hearing the story of how they improved the reality of their money in their life. So not just the feelings around it, but what were the actual things that happened that changed their their money beliefs kind of like I'm telling you right now how we did this 20,000% increase on engagement on this brand on Instagram from doing these exact techniques that I'm sharing with you right now. And so it came down to a bunch of different things, right? If you're on camera, you gotta have on-camera skills, which is another video that I've made. But with short form content, it's really about choosing the things you're interested in that you feel the most passionate about, the things that you know you can speak about and deliver true value to the people that you're talking to, to you, to the viewers, right? And then making sure that you deliver that value. And if they like it, they'll engage more. They'll like it, they'll comment. Make sure you comment below with any questions that you have, or if you're just loving this right now and smash that like button definitely subscribe if you want to hear more about this I'm going to be doing all sorts of things with business media and living a beautiful life because that is the number one priority make sure you go live your beautiful life all of that being said make sure that when you're doing short form content you're making it fun easy sustainable and profitable that you've got tremendous depth of service to whatever level that you're capable of delivering whether that's just one-on-one -on -one coaching with someone about the topics that you cover or if it's a one dollar course that you've built or if you're just in the process of figuring out what exactly that is i'm gonna have a whole nother video where we talk about how to think about doing depth of service and how to think about the next products that you want to offer someone especially if you're a beginner but even if you're a big brand like we were when i first started helping out with RTT and Marissa Peer. So I hope that really helps and I will see you in the next video.